Rural counties in the Tennessee Valley have some of the lowest vaccination rates in the state. Ayanna Willoughby tells us why this matters. In Alabama today alone, we've seen more COVID cases than the number of students enrolled at Lee High School. We don't need Alabamians to get sick, be hospitalized, and die. The Alabama Department of Public Health reports that as of July 23rd, there are 11,004 active cases in the state. Dr. Karen Lander says the only way to stop the spread is to get the vaccine, but many people just don't want to. What I remind people is that we are giving medical advice medical advice related to the vaccine. Rural communities in the Tennessee Valley have some of the lowest vaccination rates in the state. That could be because of a lack of information on the shots. Dr. Lander shares that she trusts the scientists who developed them. I took the vaccine myself. Uh, my family took the vaccine as soon as it was available to them. Experts in Alabama are assuring the state that they wouldn't steer them in the wrong direction. Why would we as physicians, again, persons who are actively engaged in treatment and management of patients and trying to, again, keep people from dying. You know, why would we recommend something that we wouldn't take ourselves? Officials say it doesn't matter whether you're getting a vaccine shot in your home county or traveling to another town. They just want you to get it done. We uh, remind people that people don't have to go to one individual county to receive their vaccine. They may go to different counties. I asked Dr. Landers if she had any advice for the community. People can be over COVID if they want to, but COVID is not over us. For more resources, visit our website, rocketcitynow.com. Putting the Valley first, Ayanna Willoughby, WZDX News.